Well, hello everybody, I am Spectacular. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I decided recently to take some of this stuff right here and turn it into something a little bit more serious in my opinion. Uh, got some gold. I wanna go ahead and open up the vault, Spectacular's gold vault, and uh, show you some of my recent gold acquisitions. I'm happy to have them, tell you a few stories, and uh, let's have some fun. Let's do it right now. Here we go. We're going to open up the Gold Vault, Spectacular's Gold Vault Top Secret Combination. Snip, snip. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, so let's let's take them all out first. And uh, before you ask, no, this is not all my gold. This is just the recent things. Are you going to see my entire gold stack? No way, Jose or Josetta. Not doing it. Um, that's not me. Let me go ahead and zoom this back down a little bit. All right, here we go. So yeah, this is just some of my recent pickups. I wanted to show you all, you know, because that's what we do. We share things here, right? We have little moments together, you and I. So I do still have some money left, as you've seen. I, I want to do some things with this. Uh, more gold, but um, man, prices are just not where I wish they were. I mean, you know, gold came up a little bit and then came back down to about, what, 17, 20, 17, 40, depending on, you know, what time of day you're looking. Um, that's 1,740, rather. So, you know, I'm I'm trying to get those, you know, right moments to buy, um, you know, but then if you do that too much, they get higher, and then it's like, ah, oh, I missed an opportunity on the low point. Ah, it can stress you out. But, uh, you know, I'm buying at all different levels. I'm waiting for a little bit of a dip, I hope. Uh, at least the premiums, the premiums are driving me crazy. All this stuff right here, and I'm going to show you a little little price uh, of you know an idea of what I paid. I ended up getting this right here on one day, and then these three on another day. Uh, but um, you know the price was around seventeen twenty to seventeen forty, and it's okay, you know. But the premiums, I'm paying like nine percent over for the premium on these things right here. Nuts. Uh, foreign stuff, so the Canadian, a little bit lower. So let me show you this right here. First of all, the Canadian stuff is beautiful. Let me take this out. Let me put a glove on. And then when I get to the American stuff, I do have a story for you, which I thought was interesting. So, all right, so here we go. Gloves are coming on. I got this fancy one. It's no big deal. You know what I mean? I am spectacular. All right, here we go. Here is the 2021. It's got some, got some stuff on it right here because those, those little, uh, what are these called? Little flips right here. These are never clean. I don't know why, but there's always dust inside of the flips. Can't explain it, but uh, listen, these right here, these um, you know maple leaves are absolutely stunning. Look at the light bending off of it twice like that. You know, gold is very hard to capture the beauty of it in a video. I don't know why, but when I look through my camera at this thing right here, it's not the same as if I just turn over here a little bit and peek and I'm looking at it in real you know life. Uh, it's much more beautiful in real life, but you can see that. I mean, you could do this all day. Look at that. It looks like you're like in some kind of Star Wars, you know, thing like that. Like, zoom, zoom. No, I'm your father. Zoom, zoom, zoom. No. All right, that was too much. Anyways, uh, I'll cut that out for the actual video, maybe. I don't know. Uh, man, Star Wars is on the back, too. Wow, that's the sequel. Look at that. So, anyways, beautiful maple leaf. Um, for people that are like, oh, yeah, I got to have American gold only. Can't have nothing with the queen on there. I get it. You don't like the queen. It is what it is. But uh, you cannot deny that that is a stunning coin. So they do have some anti-counterfeit features. Let me actually take one glove on so I can, or off, so I'm sorry, so I can zoom it in. But see all those lines that go just kind of beyond and outside of the maple leaf itself? All little anti-counterfeiting measures that they put on there, those little radial lines. Um, I think it's beautiful, man. It's stunning. The coin is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I could stack nothing but maple leaves and be just totally happy with my gold stack. Um, it's funny how, how small it is uh, because, you know, gold is so dense. It's just absolutely dense. And for that to be a one ounce piece, is just it's just interesting. You know what I mean? Because it's just so small, so small. But uh, a lot of value in such something, you know, something so small. A lot of value. Yeah, I trip on my words all the time. I'm not going to cut all that out. I'm just going to wing it. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> and, okay, so 
So that was one day. Went to a shop. You know, what do you got? 2021 maple leaves. Give me one, please. You know, those are those are beautiful. I absolutely uh, adore those. Now, you know, a lot of us uh, got stimulus checks. A lot of us didn't. And if you didn't, you know, you know, it is what it is. If you are one of those people that are like, ah, give that back. You know, that's, that's, that's wow, you shouldn't have that money. Okay. It is what it is. I took it. I took it and I invested it in gold. Be mad at me if you'd like to, but that's what I thought would be a great idea to do is invest that money rather than do anything silly with it. Like, uh, I don't know, go to Disney world. Cause I'm not doing that right now. Anyways. Uh, so <laughs> back off the tangent. So I wanted some more gold with that stimulus money. And I said, huh, okay, let me, cause you know, it gets deposited direct deposit into my bank account. It's going to be a little story, a little story time now, uh, direct deposit into my bank account. So I'm like, okay, well let me run and get that money out. So it's funny. I've never usually get stressed, but that particular day, uh, racing to the bank to get money out was stressing me out. Cause first of all, I'm thinking like everybody's going to be doing this, right? Going to be a line. It's going to be a pain to try to get this money. The banks may even say we're out of money. Uh, that's what's happened before on some of the other stimulus or what really stinks is when you get there and you're hoping for a hundred dollar bills because you know, my stimulus with a couple kids is over five grand. Um, but I'm expecting, you know, small bills because they've done that to me before. You get there in their all 20s. Now, listen, you're like, okay, well, cash is cash. Who cares? If you carry around $5,000 in $20 bills, it is a pain. It is an absolute pain. You can't put it in your wallet. You're gonna, your wallet's going to be this fat. It's huge. So you're carrying it around in a weird spot. It's kind of dangerous. It's not safe, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so everything's stressing me out. So, But I finally do get to the bank. Um, you know, a little couple people in line. Um, a lady there yelling at her kid. I think she was kind of overreacting, to be honest with you. But <laughs> anyways, that's too much of a story. So I get there and it's my turn. I go up to Donna. She's the uh, person there at the bank and uh, tell her, is that what it is? Tell her. And I tell Donna, I'd like to make a withdrawal, please, Donna. And Donna, you know, kind of looks at me and <sighs> kind of gives me one of those little <sighs> So already Donna and I are on kind of, you know, bad terms, right? You know, we're, we're not seeing eye to eye. And I'm thinking like, what's wrong? You know, like I, I want my money. You know, that's, that's what I want. I want my cash. And she kind of goes, I don't understand why anybody has to have cash. And I'm thinking like, first of all, that has never gone, you know, that's, that's never been a, a conversation that a teller and I have had where they've said, I, I don't understand why people need cash. I'm, you know, I've always been, Hey, yes, ma'am. You know, thank you. Oh, have a good day. It's never, never been there. It's just, it's just so weird that that even happened. So I said, really, you don't understand why people need cash. And she goes, no, everybody has a card. You just swipe your card. Like she's, you know, giving me a tutorial on what I should be doing. And I'm thinking, all right, Donna, like, you're not going to understand. I just, just give me my money, right? Just give me my money. And so I say, Hey, and I had some more money in there that I wanted to withdraw too. I was actually trying to withdraw $8,000. I know, you know, big spender. Well, I'm rich. No, just kidding. Uh, but, you know, $8,000 because gold is expensive. I need more money. And she goes, um, your limit is $5,000. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. Hold on, Donna, Donna, Donna. L listen, chill out for a second, Donna. Let's, let's, let's calm down. This is my money, Donna. 5000 That's Why is there a limit on withdrawing my money? This is mine, not yours, Donna. This is not the bank's money. This is spectacular's money. How are you going to tell me there's a $5,000 withdrawal limit on my money? But, uh, you know, Donna said that that's, it is what it is. You can't do anything about it, spectacular. No matter, you know, how many subscribers you have, which is over 30,000 now, you can't do anything about this thing. So I could not believe that. I've never, never heard of that before where I had to have a limit on my own money. So that upset me a little bit. I didn't you know, take it out on Donna. Don't get me wrong. Donna, you know, she's, you know, doing her job. I can't be mad at her. I'm mad at the situation and I'm mad at why that even exists like that. So anyways, I'm like, okay, fine. I'll take the $5,000 that I'm allowed to keep out of my own money. By the way, this is why we stack gold and silver to become our own banks, because that stuff is ridiculous. Anyways, so she goes, okay, you have to fill out this paper. And I'm like, what? So she gives me a paper, a form that's like a big disclaimer um, and I'm thinking like, what is this? Like, I've never done this before. So, you know, how much are you withdrawing? I had to put $5,000, had to sign my name and date it. Um, I, I could not believe that I had to fill out paperwork 
and show my ID, which I get the show the ID thing. So make sure that somebody you know, didn't steal my card. And because you got to do the whole thing. You got to put your, you know, your little debit card in the machine. It says, OK, are you sure you want to? Yes, you do want a 5000. OK, you know, please see your ID. Here's your ID. Now I got to fill out this paper saying that I do actually want my money. Um, crazy craziness. So I did that, you know, I got my 5,000. And then I said to Donna, I said, Donna, and I really said this, this is, this is real. I said, Donna, I said, do you know what was money before this green cash before this stuff right here? And she goes, uh, and she's, you know, an older lady, Donna, she's not, you know, uh, a young chick anymore. No offense, Donna, but you know, you got, you got a couple years of wisdom on you, you know, I respect that. You know, Donna says, no, what, 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 are you, what are you talking about? And I said, gold and silver. And she goes, oh, yeah, yeah, gold and silver. She goes, yeah, that's much lighter than this stuff right here. Like real snarky at me. And I'm like, okay, Donna, you have a great day. I'm out. I'm going to go buy some of this stuff right here. So it was just weird to me. The whole, you know, that's the most I've talked to a bank teller in a while. She doesn't, doesn't understand why people want cash. I don't. Okay, fine, Donna, I'm out. I uh, got this brilliant idea, okay? Brilliant idea. I'm still talking. I know, I'm sorry. Brilliant idea to go to the ATM and get a little bit more money. I figured, you know what I mean? That might be a way to get some more money out of the bank. So, drive to the ATM, and I know that my limit is $1,500. Uh, to withdraw from the ATM, right? There's a, a again, a, a limit that you can take out per day from the ATM. $1,500 is the limit. I go there, I go to the machine, put my card in, try to get my $1,500, but boop, 1500. Zero, zero, and the machine tells me, sorry, there's a limit at this particular machine for $1,200. Oh my God. I, I smack my head. I smack it. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? And my wife's like, just take the twelve hundred. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm driving way out of my way to another bank, and I'm getting that fifteen hundred, which is still that's only sixty five hundred, not as much as I originally wanted. But what can I do? The bank is holding my money hostage. Now I question. I question you all. What happens if there's a serious issue with money? Let's say you know, uh, let's another stimulus comes out, uh, whatever the case may be. There's a shortage, whatever. Are you going to be able to get your money out of the bank? That's the question, right? So banks scare me. Banks do scare me. As I've gotten older, um, I, I realize that they're a friend and a foe at the same time. You know, they are beneficial. They're almost necessary a uh, bank, especially if you have a job that requires you to have a bank account for direct deposit. But um, th like this, this particular day really, really made me see uh, things differently. Um, but anyways... So I get to the shop and, uh, you know, with my monies that I had, what I was, had available and, uh, you know, I wanted some gold. Um, not a lot out, not a lot out, but I did find this and here we go. I finally get to show off some gold. I'm sorry for the story. I very much apologize for the story time, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, let me zoom this in. Let me take one glove off. This is a one ounce American gold Eagle. So many of us know this coin, no real big deal. Looks like a little scratch right there on the right side of the field. Um, it's a bullion coin. So it's not like this is going to be perfect. I'm not, you know, and it looks like a little, maybe a dent right there in one of the rays from the sun. So, you know, some people might be like, oh my goodness, uh, dinks and scratches. It's bullion. It's a bullion coin. Not trying to get the most beautiful example in the whole world. Not mad if I don't. It is a 2021, which I was, you know, pretty, you know, happy about. Because I do want to see what starts happening here when they change some of the designs up. Um, so that way I'll have a 2021. And then hopefully when they do change the design, I'll be able to put it right next to each other and, and show that off. And I think that'll be fun. So there we go. Little one ounce uh, gold American Eagle. So that was fun. Where's my little flip? My little dirty flip. Um, at first I thought there was a lot more scratches in there because the flip was actually messed up. And you can see... Uh, in the camera, the flip has all kinds of little dinks and whatever and dust particles. Uh, but no, it was mostly just on um, in here. You can kind of see some scratches there, but really it is just the uh, the flip. So sometimes the flips can lead you astray. That's why it's important to take that gold and break it out. And then, and then I got some buffaloes. So a couple little buffaloes in the uh, little mint seal little packaging here. These are 2010 buffaloes. Um, nothing special really. Again, just a bullion coin. These are four nines fine. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, the four nines. So this is kind of like the, the America's version of the maple leaf, which is also four nines fine. Uh, 
uh, where they add a little um, silver and, and other metals, I think copper as, as well, and the uh, eagles, and they have a whole different color. If you, if you look at them close, you can see this has, I don't want to call it red because you're going to think it's not red, spectacular, but it's definitely a lighter color. You can see that there's definitely something going on in the colorization because these are 4.9 fine gold. But anyways, um, got these. And this was the situation. Let me tell you about this story. So I pay them cash, right? And I kind of give them the cash. I say, hey, this is what I want. I want two buffaloes and a uh, eagle. So boom, comes back to me. And I give them my cash first. Don't even look at the coins. Just, you know, have a nice day. Bada bang. Happy that I got my gold, right? Mission accomplished. Um, get home. And I happen to look at the coins a little bit. And I look at the reverse. Look at this, okay? First of all, if you're a shop owner, and the shop owner knows who they are. So if you're a shop owner, you know, maybe don't give your customer some of these weird coins without like telling them, hey, you're getting coins that are not, you know, uh, great looking, you know. <laughs> but these are typical right here of the the buffaloes is they'll get these copper spots. And maybe they've solved this, this issue now uh, with the mint. Um, but, you know, in the past, this is definitely an issue. These little copper spots that occur on the buffalo. And you're probably thinking the same thing that I was thinking, like, wow, these are four nines fine. Why are there copper spots? I don't know. Ask the U.S. Mint. But you can see a little spot right here on the buffalo. That's where he got shot right there by the 50 BMG. No big deal. Uh, he's still alive, though. He made it. That's good for that buffalo. So a little copper spot there and a little copper spot right here. Um, and, you know, on gold, it's unusual to see copper spots, first of all. And you're thinking, haha, those are not even real spectacular. Well, hey, listen, I thought of that too. I'm like, my goodness, that's kind of weird, right? Um, but it's, like I said, it's very common. It's very common. Settle down. But I will show you that they are real just for fun because I do think that it's interesting to see. But, you know, maybe just, you know, as a disclaimer, when you're a shop, you know what I mean? And you're selling this kind of stuff, just be like, hey, just so you know, there's some spots on there. You know, I'm, you know, I'm charging you full price, but I'm going to have you take spotted coins. Uh, but, you know, you better be taking them back from me at, at full price uh, with those spots on there. If you're willing to sell them to me for full price with those spots. I'm just saying. Uh, so anyways, we're at uh, triple nine plus. So four nines does work on this setting right here, the Sigma Metalytics. So there you go, right there in the middle. That's a good one. Now I'm going to flip it ever so slowly so you don't think I'm pulling the wool over your eye. And I'm going to slide that into home base. Boom. It's right there in the middle. So these are both good. Um, I can also measure the maple leaf on that setting because it is four nines fine. So let me slide her right on into there. Boom. Right there in the middle. Beautiful. And now because the um, eagle is a little different as far as the composition, like I said, there's some silver in there, some copper, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go ahead and go to the American Eagle setting. All right, so we're at the American Eagle setting, gold American Eagle. Uh, there are silver versions too, so you don't want that setting. And put that right there in the middle, and you can see that it's good. It's in the brackets. We're fine. Thank goodness, right? Woo, stressed out. So, but hey, listen, I got gold. Um, at the end of the day, I am happy. A couple little spots, not that big of a deal. Um, you could clean those off if you were worried about them. I'm not worried about them. I'm going to keep them in that mint packaging. If uh, if I ever did go to sell these and somebody gave me a hard time about it, I, I could I could get rid of that no problem. Little little solution would take that right away. But um, it doesn't take away from the the aspect that it actually is four nines fine gold. It still is. It just has uh, you know little spots on it. No big deal. And none of these were perfect, right? We saw some issues with the maple leaf. There was some you know some minor little issues there. Uh, this right here had some scratches. So these are bullion coins. That's what they're intended to be. Bullion more than actual like collector's coins. Anyways, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. At the end of the day, spectacular got himself four. Nice pieces of gold, in my opinion. Uh, I do still want to get more, so you probably will see a video shortly. So I want to show you this real quick. This is the price on the Canadian gold. So I paid $18.46 for her. And then I got a one ounce triple nine fine silver piece from this particular shop for $32. And there was my total. I do want to show you that nice silver piece that I got. Let me put my glove on again. Because I, I thought it was a cute little piece. You know, cute little piece. Uh, here we go. So there it is in this right here, International Trade Unit, one troy ounce, triple nine fine silver, face reveal nightmare on this bad boy. And, uh, it's, you know, it's pretty nice looking. It's got some nice toning to it. Uh, got the eagle flying, soaring away. And uh, it's got a nice uh, empty reverse to where I could, you know, 
put uh, my name, your name, you know, fill your name in there if you want. Up to you. Up to you. But I think it's a beautiful little piece, and uh, I was happy to find it. So that's my stories, and I'm sticking to them. Um, you know, if you got your stimulus and you decided to do something with it like this, like invest it in gold or silver, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you invested in. Um, if you disagree with using stimulus, if you did not get a stimulus, you can definitely vent right down there in the comments too. I'll, uh, you know, just be respectful. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and the long winded stories. I got to go for now. Keep stacking. I know that I am. You're going to see some more videos soon of some more gold acquisitions. I hope spectacular. Hold on. Spectacular is out. <laughs>